three goals and six assists for the Warhawks. We are underway as Troy has the kickoff to start things. Troy really trying to force that pressure early. Got it into the box where ULM had to kick it away. Jordan Stack was racing down there against the defender. That's going to be an offside called against Troy and Ella Owen. Leading the way for Trojans, there are actually four players with two goals apiece. Jordan Stack, Jayla Gage, Nia Wilson, and Aaron Bloomfield. I mean, he'll probably tell you to come in. If this ULM team really Diverse players from all over, not only the country, but the world. Very similar to Troy. Uh, players from uh, Reunion Island, uh, Liechtenstein, Germany, Greece, uh, Trinidad, the Netherlands, Ireland, England. So very similar to this Troy team. One thing they do have that Troy doesn't is actually a player from Alabama. Their goalkeeper, uh, Maddox Dolly, is a freshman out of Florence, Alabama. <laughs> Maybe just be like, hey, this is Kinley, by the way. I mean, <laughs> you want me to tell him? Yeah, you had to press the A button. Blankenstein trying to get it away. Gets it up to Nia Wilson, but quickly turned over. That goes to Marv Grootkamp. Now, Julian sends it across the field, now working back towards the middle. Left foot kick into the box, headed away. Blankenstein able to get in there and knock it away. Or ULM could get a shot on goal. Now kicked upfield, that could be an offside. Allow it to play on, that was Jordan Stack. Even with the back of that ULM defense. ULM now again with somebody upfield trying to get that left foot into the box, but that is kicked out of bounds. That was Katie Johnson, grad student out of El Dorado Trinidad, who was working out in front. As a player has gone down for ULM, kicked out of bounds, so they can check on that player down. See the ball. There. Root camp 
with it at midfield, passes it down. Chartier takes a tumble as she goes against the bigger player in the middle, but now Troy able to get it back. Nice move by Gar uh, Chartier, trying to get a through ball up to stack, but taken away. In the back by ULM. Again, last home game of the year for the Trojans. One final game after this, that is against James Madison, who has been outstanding on that East Division side of the Sunbelt Conference. ULM will finish things up on the road against Coastal Carolina, a long trip from Monroe, Louisiana. chance for Troy if Stack can get over there trying to force ULM to do something she's able to get it now she's going to move in with that right foot towards the box passing it knocked away solid play by Santana Presley and then ULM forces it back off of Stack so a goal kick a great play defensively for ULM trying to pass it upfield, but ULM will get the throw in. That was Lucia Lobato. That'll be throw in for Troy. trying to chase down the defender, but they'll just pass it back. This Lena Doppel, she was chasing and now just passed it out of bounds, so throwing back to Troy. Stein now working the sideline, gets it back in the middle to Wilson. Cross back to the center, taken by ULM. I think it's easier to zoom Katie Johnson. from like the actual camera than this thing on the handle. I never knew that you could do that until I saw you do it. 
so much easier. Terrell with it for Troy. Now look to Bradbury. Bradbury looking for some space, trying to get it up to stack, but just cannot get it through that defender, but looks to take it away. Nolan nearly had a run. Here's Stack. No, no offside call. Stack in the box. Kicks it. Knocked away by Leal. Nice save from the sophomore keeper. Throw in for ULM. Stack had a chance down in the box, but a nice save. Throw in for Troy. <laughs> Here's another look at that shot. Owen had a chance, but lay out, came out to meet her right at the edge of that six yard box and was able to knock it away. Team just kind of playing the sideline right now. Troy inching its way down. by ULM, this is Garcia looking for some space. Now over to Blankenstein, but a little forward under pass. for some clearing. Troy's just pressuring him on that back row. Now to that middle third of the field. Now ULM with a run. Trying to get it upfield. This will be Katie Johnson. If she can stop it before it hits that inline, she will. Does a good job turning on it. Kicked in the box, I think just off the side of the foot. And Troy will now clear it downfield. Tana Presley with it. We'll kick it back to Leal. Now wait just a second. Now over to Lena Goppel. Hey, do you have a crowd mic set up somewhere? On the wrong girl. Where is it? Okay. I just hear those benches really clearly from over here, and it's it's like it sounds like a mic's right there. That was Katie Johnson. I think she had gotten out ahead of the defense. It looks like Tatum Terrell, a little frustrated back there, but that will be an offsides against the Warhawks. Jocelyn Garcia will now have the free kick.
Roy gets control, gets it up to Stack, but just by her foot. And back to the goalie, Leal. Here's Charte now with it. Up on that right side now, towards the box, but headed away. Across the field now, down to Garcia. Blankenstein with it. Blankenstein heading towards the box. She'll have to back it out. This is Detlefson. Detlefson with the right foot, lost it in the air. Towards Stack, but they will call an offside. Stack had just gotten a little bit ahead of that last defender. trying to pressure them on this back line. Blankenstein does a good job getting away from Santana Presley, but Detroit with it further back, trying to find any kind of space, although now a player hit for ULM. She goes down immediately. Might have taken that one to the face. That is Eva Lorette. Excuse me, no. I'm in love now. Right? Inga Konst. Yeah. That's just kind of mean. Konst, a sophomore out of the Netherlands. <laughs> Kick from that back row, trying to just send it upfield, but line drive hit right at Konst. 28 37. like an offside from ULM, but they will call the offside now as LaRoche had come all the way out. What a late call there by that side official. This team with two offsides here early on. Detlefson has got tangled up and got her hands just a little bit out there. Knocked down the ULM attacker. Goppel will take the kick. Right foot kick sent down near the box. Righty kick, but sails. Off the foot of uh, Courtney Martin. Had looked to be a little bit of an open goal. Just got under the ball just enough. Be a Troy throw in. Chartier with it. Now she'll kick it up ahead. Stack trying to get out there, but just taken away from uh, by Leal. Throw in for Troy. Miscommunication there by oh, ULM. Nearly gave Troy a shot, but 
Chartier goes down, no foul called. She has gotten up and trotting back down the field. But ULM with it now, looking to get into that Troy attacking side of the field. Nikons, she tries to kick it into the box, headed away. Tatum Terrell. Nice slide tackle. Ball kicked out of bounds. It'll be a kick for the keeper, Lindsay LaRoche. On the field now for the Trojans, number three, Jayla Gage, and number eight, Kayla Williams. Kayla Gage and Kayla Williams check in for Troy. field for the ULM. Which one's the Who in the blue? I'm on the ref right now though. Um, 2450. 2450. I was looking for black and white stripes. <laughs> I don't know who they were on. I was moving my camera over there. I don't think he was mad at us though. I think he was no. saying that. Gettleson with it, trying to work in the yeah, middle so of the field. Now she'll send it up. If Blankenstein can it stop it, she so tries to race to it, but just out of her reach. Volleyball is the best. Good effort there from Blankenstein, but not quite fast enough to get there. Garcia with it. She tries to send it downfield, get it to Kayla Williams. The goalie has gotten out of the box. Williams working to fight for it. It'll be kicked out of bounds. That will be a throw in for Troy deep in that attacking third of the field. Troy does have one shot on goal so far, none for ULM. Kayla Williams trying to get it out to Blankenstein, but ULM looking to kick it upfield. And they do. Carroll will just have to kick it back to LaRoche in goal. We had the ball deep in ULM territory. Could not make a play. Throw in for Troy. Blankenstein doing a good job of just getting her body in on his opponents. Blankenstein stands at just five foot two. It's Garcia once again trying to kick it into the box. Now out to Chartier. Chartier puts a little bit of loft onto it, but just short hops right in front of Leal. Yeah. 
Pakistan once again. Trying to use that speed, but can't get it by the defense of ULM. And here's now a chance just over the head of Courtney Martin. Now right foot kick just off the top of the goal. LaRoche may have gotten a hand on that. Great kick from ULM. Just outside that 18 yard box. That was Mara Groot Camp. As we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, second does have three goals this year. Second on the team is actually Ashley Washburn, who we have not seen yet today. Kicked out of bounds. Peyton Pipes for ULM. Frankenstein with a throw in. Frankenstein right foot, trying to get it near Chartier. And the defender, Lobato. Body Chartier away as the ball rolls out of bounds. Here is Kayla Williams trying to race downfield. Get near the ball. Forced down by Goppel. So it will be a goal kick. third trying to find some room now here's a pass upfield that goes to Martin who gets it back in the middle now back to her the const const now to group camp now to Martin Martin with the right foot near the box LaRoche a goal. What happened? I believe they're going to say that was offside against the Warhawks. A bunch of chaos happening in there right in front of LaRoche. The whistle was blown. The ball was right on that line. Here's another look. On the field for the Trojans, number 12, Abria Smith, and number 29, see Ashley the official. Radio. You see a bunch of players down there, and then you see Courtney Martin, number 13, kind of throw her hands up in frustration as that happens. So 
call does go against ULM. Foul called against Troy. Rhea Smith got her foot out there, stopped the ball, but then tripped the UN player. upfield Chartier kicks it but that has been Goppel who has just been everywhere for ULM Reno with it again Troy flipping the field down the field looking for Sidney Babineau. Garcia just a little strong on the kick. Okay, well Williams fighting for the ball. They're going to call a foul actually against ULM. So Troy, you'll get a free kick after Kayla Williams doing a good job attacking the defender, trying to get the ball back. Here's another look. Got tangled up, and yeah, they're going to say that it was Kat Yarbrough who just kind of pulled down Williams right there. You can see that arm wrapped around her waist. Here's Garcia. See with that right foot. to Babineau. Rose comes out of goal. Works on getting it downfield. So here's a race. Jayla tries to get over there. Jayla Gage. Garcia tries to kick it midfield. Not sure that's where she was looking to get it to. Now ULM has it on the Troy side. Foul called against ULM. That will go against Gabriela Gracia.
Hunt into the box, headed high into the air. Bria Smith back with it, but now knocked away. Sent upfield. Reino lost it in the box now, trying to get it near. Rain, uh, excuse me. Reino and Chartier passing it back and forth. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a UL throw. Ashley Washburn and Maddie Garza. And Broom, uh, Bloomfield checks and in. And on the field for the Trojans, Kayla number Williams. nine, Aaron Bloomfield. RTA. Be a goal kick for the Warhawks. Under 10 minutes left to go here in the first half. Two shots on each side. Shots have been on goal, neither of the Warhawks have been on goal. Here's an opportunity. This is Garza. She'll send it over the net. race between uh, Garza and Detlefs, and Detlefs trying to get it away, now in towards the box, tripped up. And that should be a penalty kick as Tatum Terrell grabs her head right after the foul, knowing that was a mistake. That foul will go against Ashley Washburn. No, excuse me. That is number 13, Courtney Martin, that Martin will get the shot. Senior out of Collinsville, Illinois. Here is the shot, and that will find the back of the net for the goal. The point for the Warhawks. Second goal of the season. She, LaRoche gathers the team real quick to talk things over. She, Inga Konst got to take the shot. So she now has eight goals.
Ford trying to get it. This is Bradbury. Bradbury can't quite get to it as Leal falls on it. Abano sends it upfield. Abano with it, taking her time now. Gets it upfield to Abria Smith, who backs it out. Here's a shot. Here's going to be a chance. Trying to get it across. No shot taken by the Trojans. It looked like Reno may have had a chance. But she tries to cross it back. Had it taken away. Reno makes the turn inside. Reno with the right foot, but just off the mark. On the field for the Warhawks, number 26, Eve Blakey. Eve Blakey in for the Warhawks, a five foot 10 freshman out of Newcastle, England. Bloomfield has it taken away. Five minutes left to go. Yeah. Here's another chance for Troy Bloomfield. Knocked away by Leal. That'll force a Troy corner kick. Troy badly needing a goal. This is a big game for this Troy team. Chartier will take the kick. Right foot sails to the back of the box. Back towards midfield. Now Garcia tries to send it. Looking for any kind of space. Again, cleared out by ULM. Bradbury now. Gage trying to get to it, but really having a tough time finding opportunities. Three shots on goal, but it'll be offsides against ULM. Blakey. Boy 
Roy having to get it upfield. Bria Smith now tries to send it with the left foot, but knocked away. Troy just really having a tough time near the box. Here's Gage. Gage with the left foot, but that will just roll safely out of bounds for the ULM goal kick. against Jocelyn Garcia. Correction that foul against Bria Smith. Headed in the air, LaRoche. Goes over, tries to grab it, but she actually hits it out of bounds, so that will be a corner kick. left to go here in the first half. Const on the shot. We will get it out of the way. Jayla Gage may have a chance at a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. If she can keep control, she can't as it is knocked out of bounds. Seconds Eight, to seven, go. Six, five, that looks to four, do it three, two, for the one. first half as ULM has a one nothing lead Here's on more. a penalty kick goal zero. by Inga Konst. For the only score so far, we'll be back in just a moment for the stats from the first half. One nothing, ULM lead on a penalty kick by Inga Konst. Now here's a shot for Troy. Here is Jordan Stack, if she can get the left foot, but just sends it over Leal, who had raced out to meet the ball. And you can see Stack not happy with the shot she took. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity and just misses as it goes over the goal. Here's another look, Stack, just too much on it. And she thought she had to beat Leal. Just knocked it over the head of everyone. in, that is Otto with the throw in now. Katie Johnson with it, trying to send it up the middle. She gets it in. The offside against Troy. Out ahead of 
the defense. Leal will take the kick. Slides through her legs and out of bounds, a throw in. Bradbury got into Collins. That'll be a foul against Bradbury. There's another look. Bradbury playing the body of Collins. Went right through her. Lauren well, Camp will take the kick. Sophomore out of Germany. Hustling going on down in the box. Official has to blow the whistle. Nice play by Garcia to knock it away, though. It will be a corner on the other side. We'll take it. LaRoche gets a hand on it, but it flies by everyone on the other side of the field. Now Katie Johnson with it. She makes a move, left foot into the box, headed back away. Iduba. Blankenstein upfield. Troy will keep it in play. This is Stack. Troy looking for numbers. Reno tries to get over there. Can't in time as Mia Wilson will get it for Troy. There's Bradbury. Jordan Stack with some room. Right foot gets it in the back of the net. A goal from Jordan Stack right at the 18 yard mark. And Troy has tied things up. Five minutes into the second half. Good passing by Troy Stack. Stayed in that open field, got the ball back. Aimed and fired. Picks up the goal for Stack. It's her third goal of the year. For Troy, it is a critical tie. Here at one. Willem right now sitting in that final tournament spot with seven points. Two above Troy, Troy can somehow pull out a victory. It would give them eight points and a lead over ULM. Mia Wilson called for an offside. Yeah. 
Blakey with it, trying to find room against Garcia. Garcia really getting physical. They'll back it out. Now kicked in near Katie Johnson. But LaRoche will come over and grab it. Garcia with a big leg. The field. Here's Nia Wilson with it. She'll try to turn. She does. She's got players on the other side. If she can cross it, backed out to Bradbury. Troy will have to slow things up. Had some numbers. Now near the box. Gets under the legs of Leal, but she falls on it for the save. getting some good touches on this ball early in this second half. Ball will come back to LaRoche. Here's Ella Owen now getting it up to Stack. If Stack can get there, pushed down by the defender, but they will Not have a call. It'll be a goal kick. Bench really excited over there. I can actually hear Troy's coach Robert Lane from where I'm sitting being very animated toward his team, encouraging them. ULM head coach Will Roberts is their acting head coach for today. Foul called against Troy. That'll go against Ella Owen. Here's another look. Owen just got the leg of Root Camp, who they have come out to check on. No stop. Be a free kick taken by the Gopple. Ella Owen will have the throw in. She'll now drop it back. This will be Babineau who will throw it in. We're looking to take it away. They do. That is Detlefson. Now back to ULM. We'll send it up the field. <laughs> Taken away by Blankestein and the Trojans. Stack acting for it upfield. She may be offsides, and she is. 
just again past that last defender. Be the fourth offside today for Troy. Sack really trying to be aggressive, stay on that very back line. Taken away by Troy, Ella Owen with it. Now up to Stack. Stack tries to cross it in. Only out of the box. Had to hurry back. It's a very lax play there by the goalie layout. Owen comes up with it. And now she'll be tripped up. Corner now for Troy. Ten shots for Troy. Five of those on goal, including one by Jordan Stack to tie things up in the second half. Chardier will take the kick. Down and heading away. RDA gets it back. Taken, now here is Drew Camp. Once again, Jordan Stack with a one-on-one -on -one chance, but again, offside for Stack. She is doing her best just to push the limit of that back line. But you can see, just out ahead, that back row. Lane earlier this year, and he said he's okay with all those offsides. It means his team's being aggressive and really trying to push that line. Just got to know where they are. confusion there on the part of Sydney Babineau thought it may have gone out against a ULM player but it was headed away by a Troy player There's the kick Ella Owen has it trying to get it upfield now LaRoche will race out if she can get to it and she does grab it amongst a sea of people. I could not even see when she grabbed the ball, just a big group of people that she was able to snag it away from. You know, calling for a timeout, trying to get referee to acknowledge it. And finally she sees the player down, holding her face.
Roche will roll it into play up to Babineau. Whistle on the field. I think that's for a substitution. As Jayla Gage checks in. On the field for the Trojans, number three, as Jayla Gage. As well as Ashley Rainio. Ashley Rainio. Jordan Stack out. So Nia Wilson will catch her breath, try to get some fresh legs for the end of this second half, which is a tie between Troy and ULM. And Owen gets fouled. Now Troy with a free kick. Jocelyn Garcia takes it. One of the Troy seniors here today. She's actually a grad student transfer from the University of Georgia, played for Coach Robert Lane at Georgia the past few years while he was an assistant there. Decided she'd come play for him here in the last year of eligibility. Troy still has it, this is Blankenstein. Kicks it back to the middle and taken away. A big leg trying to get it upfield. Find someone, but once again taken away. against Troy, Goppel will take the kick. Katie Johnson with it as ball has just sat in there for a second. Group camp tries to kick it in off a Troy player. Now turned. Into the air, Troy trying to clear it out. Garza with it, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick. Pressure here on Troy. Now into the box. Blankenstein trying to fight it off. Another corner coming for the Warhawks. Troy having to play very tough defensively. 20 minutes here into the second half. 
Cantwell in, putting a lot of pressure. Call the timeout. On the pitches, Ella Owen. 24, limping 40, off. They're gonna 39. get a substitution out there. Looks to be a Bria Smith will come in. Taking the kick is Konst. She has scored the goal for ULM. Always goal off the foot of Jordan Stack. Right into the midst of all the players. LaRoche tries to grab it. Initially has it. It is just bouncing around in there. And it is now called. Whistle blown as LaRoche looks to be hurt. They have, she may have taken a kick while she was just down on the ground, the ball bouncing around in there. Here's another look. It does look like she got kicked while she was down. It's up to her feet. Roche will hang in. Just a gritty effort there by the Troy defense, doing everything they can to keep that ball out there. And there was four, five players just kicking at the ball, and LaRoche was down there on the ground amongst them. Here is Blankenstein with some space. She tries to get it upfield. She does. Left footer knocked away by Leal. Still some room, and it's in. It is in. No. It looks like they may have called an offsides at the last second. What a chance by Troy. So that ball, it's hard to tell from our angle, but it actually hit the outside of the net. So Reno had the open shot, but it was just off target. So no offsides, just a missed opportunity from Troy. Here's another look. So Blankenstein had got it up to Reno. First one blocked by Leal, and then right foot by Reno. And there you can see, yes, it was the side of the goal. As you can see, it rolls back behind. So sorry about the confusion on my part. But it was a nice effort by Reno, just off target. 13 shots for Troy here today. against ULM, a goal against Konst. Blood. 
Here's Jayla Gage downfield. Kicked off the defender, so it'll be a corner now for Troy. Chartier once again will take the kick. Calls a set piece for the Trojans. Off it into the air. Into the box, headed into the goal by the Trojans. And at the Trojans' goal, scored by number 20, Sidney Babino. That ball kicked up by. RTA. Let's see who. It was scored by the senior Tatum Terrell. A big goal for the Trojans as they have now taken a two to one lead. Twenty minutes left to go here in the second half. That assist will go to Gabby Chartier. Her fourth assist on the year. For Terrell, it's her first goal this season. Did a great job of getting ahead on it. Kick up to Blankenstein, Blankenstein. Trying to find a little bit of space. She has it in the box. Trying to turn it around. Bailey has it taken away. He doesn't want to give this up. They do. Just out of bounds. Saw Troy in this situation a couple of weeks ago against Texas State. Troy had a 1-0 lead until late in the second half where Texas State came back with two goals to pick up the victory. Troy now with a 2-1 lead, but will have to hold off this ULM team. ULM wants a foul call. Will not get it. Hear Robert Lane yelling, no fouls, no fouls. Kick near the box. LaRoche camps under it and snags it out of the air. Several Trojans just having to try to catch their breath right now. Jabria Smith tries to get it upfield now to Bradbury. Foul called against ULM, and they look frustrated as they wanted a call near the box just a moment ago, did not get it. And one called there. And here's a look back at the one that they were trying to get. It's Garcia tangled up. May have been a little bit of a flop there. She almost kind of fell down a second later, but Either way, they did not get that call. Here's Jayla Gage. Jayla Gage now with the left foot into the Trojans, and that will get in. A great shot, a great pass. And Troy now with a two-goal lead. That'll be Reno on the kick. Just over the head of the goalie. Goppel tried to get to it and couldn't. And now Troy, Troy with a two goal lead. Jayla Gage with a beautiful pass into Reno. 
And now Troy with a little bit of insurance. Three to one Trojans. Two goals in the last couple of minutes. Giving Troy the lead and insurance. And now Gage trying to race down against Gopal. And a foul will be called against uh, Jayla Gage. That's her second goal this season. Now here's a race between the defense and ULM. That was Martin who kicks it right into LaRoche. Able to make the save. Or Gage is her second assist this season. Out of bounds, throw in for Troy. Again, this would be a crucial win for the Trojans. They currently sit in last place in the West Division at five points. ULM sits in that final tournament spot with seven points. There's a look at the East standings. See James Madison leading the way. Troy will have to travel to James Madison, so they need the win here today. Georgia Southern App State, Georgia State. There's a look at the Troy side. Currently tied with Southern Miss. ULM just above them. So this win would be big. Foul called against ULM. A lot of frustration coming from that ULM bench right now. We will just take its time with these free kicks. That's shot in. And that'll get out of bounds. It's a goal kick. Passed up. Shot off of the goal. That'll go out of bounds, throw in. Excuse me, that'll be a goal kick. A couple of subs coming in. On the field for the Trojans, number 16, Matilda Jakobsen. This is Matilda Jakobsen checking in. First time we've seen her today. She takes the place of Sydney Babineau. Kicks it to Jakobsen right away. Troy wants to set a high line here. Again, now ULM really having to press. Goppel will take the free kick. That one pushed away by LaRoche. Got her hands on it just enough to knock it out of bounds. Be knocked out of bounds. Back 
kick got Paula Guba and she's going down. That got her a little lower on the head than she intended. She came up wo not wobbly, but just tell her it hit her a little harder than she is expecting. Guba, a senior from Germany, stands at five foot eleven. Jayla Gage in a race, trying to get it, and ULM will kick it out of bounds. High, high into the air. Now Goppel with it. Now ULM with a chance at a run. Nice play by Blankenstein. Takes it away from Ashley Washburn. Going for Troy. Coming up on 10 minutes to go here in this one. Troy again with a two goal lead. Two late goals. Now taken away by Stack. Stack has really pushed this offense. Now she's going to try to get it up to Gage. But Leal comes out just in time to snag it. The foul called against Reno. She and Katie Johnson get tangled up. Again, Stack takes it, and that time she'll be fouled. Stack playing outstanding here today. Junior transfer from Arkansas, originally out of Valrico, Florida. for Troy. On the field for the Trojans, Ella Owen. We have a couple of substitutions as Ella Owen will check in. Owen trying to get it, she battle. Kicked out of bounds. This is just what Troy wants to do. Let's go, White! Try to take some of that time away. <laughs> ULM sends it upfield. We haven't dropped that. Back line, back. Knocked away, cleared, out of bounds. Not out of bounds yet, excuse me. Be a free kick.
headed away by Terrell for the Trojans. Haley Bradbury now clear it. There's Konst trying to get it in. Grabbed on the hop by LaRoche. Seven minutes to go. Roche just taking her time, letting the, the clock tick down. Give and go. Reno up to Ella Owen. Now a throw in for Troy. Get to it. They'll actually get a goal kick out of that, or a corner kick now. As that was Ella Owen using that body to get around and kick it off the defender. So a corner for Chartier, who has already got an assist off a corner earlier. Four different goal scores for Troy, four different assists. RTA, not much doing on that one for Troy. All side called. The keeper will come out and take it. Blakey with it, now LaRoche La lays out, but kicked back. It's Courtney Martin scores on LaRoche, pat, pats her chest, saying my bad. But now just a one goal deficit, so this original goal bounced off of LaRoche. Martin hung around the goal, able to kick it in. Martin with her second goal of the season. So now a one goal game and Troy will really have to do something to keep it away. Trying to clear it out, but just cannot. This is Inga Konst. Now she'll have it. Konst, that'll go off Detlis, and now Lisa Blankenstein can get it. Bounces off of Blankenstein, and that goes in. It sails over the head of LaRoche after it bounced off a Troy defender and into the goal. Another goal from ULM. Score is tied at three. Here's another look. So. Blankenstein kicked it, it bounced off of group camp and goes in. That is just an unfortunate goal that goes against Troy. So Troy up 3-1 a moment ago. Now we'll have to battle back. So they are now tied 3-3. Troy will now have to press it offensively to try to get a goal here. Five, what are you doing? 
It looked so promising just a moment ago for this Troy team. He's now seen two quick goals by ULM. Stack will race to it. She turns it inside. Stack with the right foot. Sails just wide. Each team with 15 shots here today, seven on goal. We may not be done yet. Two and a half minutes to go. Another chance for ULM. And that will end up being a corner kick. As Troy has to just knock it out of bounds. As Courtney Martin was racing downfield. So Const will come over and take this corner. Goes out wide. Here's Groot Camp trying to kick it back in. Here's Bloomfield. She's got stack up field. Troy could have a chance trying to sit back. Here's Bloomfield. She goes near the box. Knocked out of bounds. They're going to say that is a Troy corner. Coming up on a minute left to go. Both of these teams have to be exhausted after these last few minutes of play. Chartier will allow her team to set up downfield. One minute to go. There's one minute left. Here is Chartier. In the air. Harrell nearly got it. Kicked out. Troy still has it. Here's Ella Owen. Ella Owen kicks it off the defender. Under 30 seconds to go. Time ticking away. Owen lofts it up. That'll land over the goal. And nine. As we eight, are now under 10 seven, seconds. Six, and this one looks five, like it'll four, end in a 3 3 tie. Two, one. And it does. So what Troy needed was a big win, but they're going to come away with a tie here. 3 to 3 against the Warhawks of ULM. Stick around. We'll have a senior day presentation coming up.